Hey, it's SD with Potter of Hooves, and this is part one of my Mountain Grove, Missouri, Slaughterhouse Plants. Alright, so let's get down to business. Um, tonight they had a meeting in Mountain Grove, and I'm not allowed to discuss the details, but I have gotten some news since the meeting, and I heard it was rocking. But, um, so let's discuss the anti-slaughter, because... Who's anti-slaughter? I'm anti-slaughter. Me. But, um, anyway. So, let's talk about who's going to be involved with this slaughterhouse in Mountain Grove, Missouri. Well, the company that owned Dallas Crown in Kaufman, Texas, which was the last slaughterhouse in Texas that was closed down to the law that um, the Texas government brought up, it, the one that was from 1949, to get it closed down due to the economic and environmental issues that were brought up by the slaughterhouse, um, you can go to KaufmanZoning.net and read about that. It's all really interesting. It has a 900-page um, um, report on the inhumane standards. So um, let's move on because I'll get talking about it and I won't shut up. Um, Alright, so Chevy Deco is the company that owned House Crown. They own um, slaughterhouses all over the world. They are a Belgium-based European company. And um, what they will do, what their plan is to have 50% minimum interest in this new slaughterhouse in Mountain Grove, Missouri. So all of you people from Missouri who do not agree with this, you need to speak with your state representative about this. Um, the other party involved will be Sue Wallace, and if anybody knows Sue Wallace, she is a Wyoming state representative. Do not ask me why a Wyoming state representative um, wants to open a slaughterhouse in Missouri. Hmm. She says it's because she has 100% backing, but I find that hard to believe because I know people that are in Missouri and they don't want it there. 100%. Yeah. But anyway, so she wants to open the slaughterhouse in Missouri, and she she will do that with Chevy Deco and Unified Unified Equine LLC. So the plan is to buy 30 to 40 acres, and uh, I believe it's right by highway, so everybody gets to see all the beautiful horses that are going to be dead soon. I keep hearing that she is going to um, breed horses, which is what this um, part one is going to be, be about. I want to discuss the, um, idea of breeding horses. I keep hearing different things. Some people are saying that breeding horses wouldn't be profitable for slaughter. I know other countries do it. If you look at the halflinger and you look at the Brabant, they are breeds that are bred for slaughter. Um, and then if you look at our American quarter horses and you look how they change from being a functional horse to the halter horse of today that is bred from impressive and even though they have a wide <clears throat> PPNH, they're still being bred, and there are these big, bulky yearlings that look like three-year-olds. <clears throat> they look like Angus cows, and they are called um, feed to lead, but I've heard it getting switched around, lead to feed, which if they genetically engineer these little quarter horses to be really bulky, then they will have the ability to use them at a younger age. Now, the problem is that is their meat going to be substantial enough for slaughtering? Well, if you figure if they're genetically mo modifying them, then it could be because we have genetically modified chickens, we've genetically modified hogs and cows. So it could be a possibility. So my thing with that is if they do breed, and I'm not saying they are, are not going to, because if I do say that they are, then I'm going to look like an idiot if they don't. But if they do breed, how is that going to save the recreational horse world? Just ask your question, yourself that question. If they breed specifically for this um, slaughterhouse that they plan to open, then how is it going to do anything for the unwanted horse population that we have, which is only 1% of the... Um, 9.5 million horses we have in America. And I think that's going to end part one because I only wanted to do three minutes and I'm almost at five. So look out for part two. It'll be coming soon. Thanks.